a voter, you have a choice on how you can vote. You might cast your vote by mail. You can vote early at City Hall. If you choose to vote in person on election day, chances are that you go to a neighborhood polling place. Your polling place might be a church, a local elementary school, or even a neighbor's garage. When you arrive, poll workers will greet you and help make the voting process as easy and uncomplicated as possible. Okay, I'm glad to you. Yes. What does it take to be a poll worker? And what exactly does a poll worker do? Let's meet some of San Francisco's poll workers and take a look at the responsibilities of a poll worker in the city. My name is Jack Lavolsi. My name is Carla Caldron. My name is Tiffany Lee. My name is Charles Stefanski. My name is Gimme Park Lai. My name is Elizabeth Dunlap. My name is uh, Jeff Lorman. I'm Bruce Coffrin. Hi, my name is Karina Caldron. I'm a full-time student at City College. And I've been a poll worker for 11 years. I've been a poll worker for about 10 years. For about 13 years now. 10, 15 years. At least the last nine, 10 years. And I've worked 27 elections. These poll workers, and thousands like them, are an essential part of Election Day. They provide a vital civic service by helping to safeguard the democratic process. There's a feeling working in a, in a polling place that you're part of something that has a long history and you know has a, a special place in the world, really, the democratic process that we have in the United States. It's a, kind of a model to the rest of the world. There is a real sense working as a poll worker that you're a part of that, a part of that history. and being able to keep that going. And it's, it really does feel good. I feel overall this is a great civic duty. I think I've learned a lot about voting and, and a, a deeper understanding of voting. Working in my specific location, my residential area, um, I definitely feel like I'm contributing to the community. I mean, I'm San Francisco as a whole is like my community. So San Francisco poll workers have a service-based mission, and the first part of that mission is to protect voter rights. So we make sure that poll workers are familiar with the right that a voter has to vote a private and independent ballot, the right to an accessible polling place, and the right to voting materials in languages other than English. And I mean, even if it's like someone that doesn't know how to read and they want to vote, but they don't know how to read, like, I'm more than happy to help you because it's something that if I can make a difference, like, sign me up, I'll do it. <laughs> The second part of their mission is to serve voters with respect. In class, we give examples of language and tone of voice that conveys respect to voters. And finally, the last part of this important mission is that they offer assistance to all voters who come into their polling place during voting hours. It takes a lot of poll workers for an election in San Francisco. Before each election, the Department of Elections hires roughly 2,600 poll workers to staff over 570 polling places all around the city. This includes 600 inspectors, 1,000 clerks, and about 1,000 high school students. Look up the address of your polling place online, go to Google Maps, or visit it a day beforehand if it's nearby so that you know exactly... Every poll worker you meet on Election Day has been trained. The Election Department holds more than 100 classes during the month before the election. Class times vary from one and a half to three hours and can be attended on weekends. Classes focus on the rights of voters, including language and other access rights for voters with specific needs, setting up polling places, setting up and operating voting equipment, and procedures for standard voting, vote by mail, and provisional voting. The election office seems to constantly be streamlining the process, so it's really good to do the training in order to uh, tap into the continuing better process that they're creating. Poll workers also learn about closing procedures such as counting unused ballots, completing the posted ballot statement, and transferring custody of ballots and memory packs and other materials to either a Department of Parking and Traffic officer or a deputy sheriff. I really like how the training every year improves. So as the inspector, the first thing you'll do after you introduce yourselves to your clerks is you'll assign them their job cards right away. A polling place needs someone to supervise the voting process. This poll worker is called an inspector and is usually responsible for three to four clerks. During their training, inspectors get hands-on experience setting up voting machines. But you're also going to be doing other things at 12 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and closing. So you definitely the inspector needs to hang on to this. 
The inspector works with the poll workers to make sure the process of voting goes smoothly, that everybody is, is greeted in a way that shows them respect and free access to the polling place to make sure the vote, they go through the procedures so that a vote is properly counted. So not only in the setup of it, but in the actual implementation of it through the day, and then the process of breaking the equipment down and also tabulating to make sure all the numbers get to the sheriff's deputy at the end and to the people that need to then take the vote and count it. They kind of are like a key holder on election day, that they, they wear the I can resolve that hat. <laughs> This is the keys to the voting machine. Okay. These are the After their training, inspectors pick up ballots and other supplies that their polling place will need on election day. This is your neighborhood precinct map if you need to direct somebody to another precinct. Okay. Inspectors are responsible for the official chain of custody of the ballots. They sign for the ballots and eventually transfer custody to a deputy sheriff at the end of election day. That was part of the reason that I was attracted to this in the first place because I wanted to learn about the process and the sanctity of voting and knowing that at the end of all this that we take great pains to make sure that the ballots are secure, safe and delivered back to the election department ready to be counted. On election day there's seals that we have to secure on the equipment um, as well as um, carry a key that secures the ballots in the machines. So we have to be really keen, you know, eyes and ears open um, and definitely aware of what's going on on election day. I paid attention to each voter when they voted, if they messed up, had to count that, had to avoid that. So we have to keep track of them because you have to account for every ballot. As well as the procedural component to transfer the ballots at the end of the night to the sheriff deputy and then transfer them to the memory card and the data. You know, make sure those don't get tampered with because that's the results of my precinct. Each inspector's manual includes job cards, which are literally cards that list different poll worker duties. There's one person that sets up the table, there's one person that sets up the booths, the inspector has to set up the voting machines, the insight uh, machines and such, so each person has their job and they follow again step by step. We all know with such cultural diversity, San Francisco has many languages spoken every day. To meet this diverse challenge, each election, the Department of Elections assigns Chinese-speaking poll workers to roughly 450 precincts, Spanish speakers to 275 precincts, Filipino speakers to 130 precincts, and Vietnamese, Japanese, and Korean-speaking poll workers to 70 precincts. Especially in the neighborhood that I'm in, there's a lot of Chinese-speaking uh, people, so there's always been at least two people uh, on staff that speak Chinese. and. Uh, really comes in handy. <laughs> okay. Please use this pen and return it when you finish. I would say about 70% of our poll workers come back election after election, and that's one of the most inspiring things, is their dedication and their ability to return time and time again. Many people are glad to see us again. They know us. They know that we are in that precinct and that we were there the election before. That's really heartwarming. I know a number of the people that come to the polling places expecting to see me now, so it's been over the years, and it's kind of like a regular occurrence, so they, you know, hey, are you working this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there is this sense of trust. They believe in us. They know that the vote will be protected. I think being a precinct worker is one of the best ways to learn about the democratic process. Once you see the process and how important it is, you gain a new respect for the right to vote. So I would encourage anybody to have that experience. The Department of Elections recruits new poll workers for every election. The department is also looking for new locations for polling sites. For more information, go to sfelections.org.